got permission from my husband to try and sell these for my mother-in-law. These are not my paintings. They're hers. Oh, hold on. There is, a, there is a message here in the top. It says, <coughs> Mother-in-law house, San Diego, Eka Osman mother house. Uh-oh. Who sell them and get rid of them? Assalamu alaikum wa wabarakatuh. A lot of craziness happening. I didn't want all of that. But subhanAllah, I have rights and I believe in my rights in Islam. So let's make a summary here. After all the evidences I gave you, you still some there is still some guys that don't believe me. They think I'm tripping or lying. Or I want to put us men down. That's not my intention. I want people to be aware from some claims they are Muslims and follow Islam and ride the wave of Islam. When they get money and fame, they lose the basis of Islam. Oh. I hope I'm wrong. But this is the truth. So let's get to the point here. I have a question to Osman. What is my wife doing at your mother's house? And you know that she's still my wife. Your son told me that the paintings, I'm going to show you in a, in a video, those paintings are your mother's, okay? So why my wife call your mother my mother-in-law? I will give you options. Your wife, she is calling his mother, his, her mother-in-law, because according to Islamic law, all brothers, Muslims, and, uh, you know, brothers and sisters. I mean, isn't it obvious? Now, about the paint which is going to sell and those owned by the mother of Uthman. Very simple. Muhammad, he attacked the house of Uthman. He took the booty. Because Uthman at that time, he was a Jew. So he took the booty and now those booty being given to your wife to sell them in the eBay. Here we go. The problem is solved. So what the problem? What do you mean? What, what your, why, why your wife, she is calling Uthman, mother, her mother-in-law because she is his mother-in-law okay what is this let's get to the point here i have a question to osman what is my wife doing at your mother's house and you know that she's still my wife your son told me that the paintings i'm going to show you in a, in a video those paintings are your mother's okay so why my wife call your mother my mother-in-law oh boy and why she's at your mother's house that's a good okay. question by the way why you know i don't know seriously why a woman she is in my house and she called my mother her mother-in-law hmm i need to think about it you know i think guys uh, sorry it's it's not easy we need we need to think honestly uh, this is need some music. New information. Breaking the news. Few words to say. Mother-in-law. Wife. Painting. What my wife doing in your house? Very tough question. Very easy, idiot. I mean, go in there to ask for consulting. He's a sheikh. He will shake hands and other stuff, and then he will get all the answers. Okay. I have a tree, olive tree, and this olive tree, you cannot get any fruit from it unless you shake it. Be careful, not too much, you might break it. I mean, those are questions are very smart. And the Muslims until now, I think they did not understand what's going on. Brother, subhanAllah, Muslims aren't smart like you. What your wife is doing in the house of Uthman, he's asking the Muslims, Muslims until now, 
They could not find the answer. Maybe she is taking drive test. I mean, drive test, sorry. I mean, you know, you know the thing. Like, you know? Yeah, what, the, what, what your wife is doing in the house of Othman? Mother, your son told me that <clears throat> the paintings, I'm going to show you in a, in a video, those paintings are your mother's, okay? So why my wife call your mother my mother-in-law? And why she's at your mother's house, okay? Why? Why? You know that she's my wife, and you know me very well. Why you didn't tell me, Abu, your wife is renting. You said she rents there. Why you didn't tell me, Abu, your wife is renting from from my mother. That's what you said. Why didn't you tell me that? Why are you hiding that? And why you lied to me in a message that you told me that your mother lives alone? Guys, guys, okay, see guys, I want to, I want to teach you a trick. Do you see this? Do you see this? This message here. Let me read for you this message. This guy supposedly he read, read all. Okay, why you read the rest of the message? As long as you want to expose the truth. Let us read, guys, together. Hold on. I will take a screenshot. And I will uh, translate for you. I will use uh, my uh, AI uh, software. Mm -hmm. Oof, 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 oof. No way. What the heck? Shame on you. I can't believe it. Let, let me hold on. Let me let me hear the message again. Disgusting. I, I need to call somebody, guys, just from the KGB. Just just I will be with you, right with you. What? Wait. I can't believe what's going on. Unacceptable. Answer, it's urgent. Get him, print. I told you, don't call me. Just oh, don't, don't shout, man. It's very urgent. It's so important. I just received a message, a very secretive message, and it was coded. Christian Prince, did you say coded? I assure you, it's very coded. Christian Prince, I don't get coded. Why are you calling me in line? Don't you think that the FBI and the CIA did anything to us? Hey, listen, FBI and CIA cannot listen to you and me. With them, Prince, are you stupid? They are doing to everybody. They cannot. Too bad, Christian Prince. I assure you, they listen to everybody. Zach and Nick, they listen to everybody. But are you a buddy? Christian Prince, you get a point there. Thank you very much. Okay, go ahead and tell me. I don't have nobody. That means they will not listen to me. Because they listen to everybody. You get a point. Listen. Osman and this man, his name Abu Adnan. Christian Prince, are you making poetry? No. The first one, his name is Uthman. The other guy, his name is Abu Adnan. Christian Prince, I can't believe you. How come both of them have the same name? Idiot. It's not the same name. The first one, his name is Uthman, end with the last letter N. The second one, his name is Abu Adnan. He end with the last letter the same as the name of Uthman. Christian Prince, you get the point. Go ahead. All right. Uthman, he took the wife of Abu Adnan. Get him, Prince. You call me for him in the morning. To tell me that the guy, the, the wife, the guy, the guy. This is very important because a war might erupt between them. Don't you want to make peace? Get him, Prince. This is a piece of that. Don't call me again. I never want you. I will call the police for you. 
Okay, so I can like, don't call the police, man. I'm just trying to make peace between the Muslims. Let us call them both and lie to each of them because in Islam we are allowed to lie to make peace. You think, friends, I can call them and I can lie for them, but don't call me. Okay, just go. So, guys, <clears throat> uh, Zachary Naik is gone now. Oh, boy. Anyone able to read the message here? The coded message? What the heck is this? You erased the message? Let us zoom in. Let us zoom in. Hold on. Okay, this one, it says, really? What the heck? What? Who? You see, we are solving the problem, like, you know? Who? Really? So? R. R. No, this is E-O. Okay, we will need to find what this letter here. Okay. Uh... You really, you really tell. Okay, can you post more messages? And why you are, uh, what about the other coding? Like, what is this? Hold on, what is this? Recording? He is telling him, why you are recording me? Ah, I see the word recording there. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's a war in what's up. What's up? What's up? Let us have war. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know, you are very, very, very cute. Very cute. You know, Unbelievable. You know, I, I always wanted to be a Muslim. You know, because I heard once a philosopher saying, that the only one is happy is the one who is dumb. And look like this is the only way to be happy, to be dumb. Just be a dumb Muslim. So now you are posted, why you why you are uh, sugarcoating, I mean, why you are, sorry, uh, uh, erasing those messages? Don't you think people, they will say this is suspicious? He is hiding something? Okay. This is my last message to you. Enter you both, get on call with me. She want to talk to two men in the same time. No, with, oh, this is, I don't know who's calling here. This is a message from whom? I don't know who is that, that you are talking about why my mother lives alone. Trying to force the same argument, not going to change my answer. Is it, what? What is this? I mean, listen, listen. You just provided us with the answer. We are talking about my mother living alone. What are you talking my about? Ah, ah, ah. So he want to say he's, you know, this is what he said. Uh, 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 Shakshuk Othman, he told him, he confirmed that his mother, she live alone. So what Osman he did, according to him, he brought the wife of this guy to his the house of his mother so he can do boom, boom her. Okay, I mean, it's a free rent anyway. You know, uh, mostly he's paying for the rent of his mother. At least he can use the, you know, the bedroom. So, okay, what happened then? What happened? The conclusion, conclusion, what is this? It seemed like you didn't know that I have a video of my wife saying, calling your mother, mother-in-law. So anybody who sl slandered me, may Allah forgive you. <laughs> may Allah forgive you again and again and again. Please guys, I told you have patience. Islam is about patience. <laughs> patience. I was wondering what's going on. I spent years trying to study this religion and now we discovered that Islam is about patience. 
Well, the guy was not patient to take your wife. I mean, she just left you second day she is in his bed. He wasn't patient. But brother, I have to say, you are so patient. I mean, she is there doing boom, boom, and you are, uh, <clears throat> you know, 